that needs to raise revenue and has the legal authority to do so will do it through taxing. Tax jurisdictions reflect government authorities. In the United States, federal, state, and municipal governments impose taxes. Similarly, in many countries, there are national, provincial, or state, county, and municipal taxes. Regional economic alliances, such as the European Union, may also levy taxes. Jurisdictions may overlap. For example, in the United States, federal, state, and local governments may tax income, which becomes complicated for those earning income in more than one state, or living in one state and working in another. Governments tax income because it is a way to tax broadly based on the ability to pay. Most adults have an income from some source, even if it is a government distribution. Those with higher incomes should be able to pay more taxes, and in theory should be willing to do so, for they have been more successful in or have benefited more from the economy that the government protects. Income tax is usually a progressive tax. The higher the income, or the more to be taxed, the greater the tax rate. The percentage of income that is paid in tax increases as income rises. Those income categories are called tax brackets. Taxes are levied on income from many sources. Wages, interest, dividends, and gains from investment, self-employment, property rental, royalties, and other income such as alimony, gambling winnings, or prizes. A sales tax or consumption tax taxes the consumption financed by income. In the United States, sales taxes are imposed by state or local governments. As yet, there is no national sales tax. Sales taxes are said to be more efficient and fair in that consumption reflects income. Excise taxes are taxes on specific consumption items such as alcohol, cigarettes, motor vehicles, fuel, or highway use. Property taxes are used by more local, state, municipal, provincial, and county governments and are most commonly imposed on real property, but also on personal assets such as vehicles and boats. Naturally, taxes will reduce your overall income or spending power as will other deductions to income such as health and or life insurance premiums. Gross income is the total wage or salary that an employer pays the employee before taxes and other deductions are taken out of their paycheck. Keep in mind, this is not the gross amount that the employee actually gets to take home. This is the actual expense to the employer. For example, an employee who makes $30,000 per year might have $9,000 withheld from their paychecks to pay income taxes, FICA taxes, and his or her share of employee benefits. The difference between gross pay versus net pay is $9,000. Net income, on the other hand, is the employee's total pay after all deductions like taxes, insurance, and employee share of benefits. This is often called take-home pay because this is the amount of money they receive in their paychecks each pay period. This employee would compute his annual net pay of $21,000. Net versus gross pay is simply the difference between what is taken out of the employee's paycheck. Gross is the full amount paid by the employer, while net is the amount that the employee receives in his or her paycheck. 